hi what's up welcome back to my page uh, so here we are this week this is the week of June 30th um, on a Wednesday I hope you had a great 4th of July weekend uh, so um, what I'm gonna do is just that I'm going to end up just Po filming things the, the week prior and then uploading them at the beginning of the week. So I started doing that this week um, because I figured that, you know, with sometimes some of these data dumps, it's like, you know, to get everything and then edit and then put it, upload it, it could be so much. But nevertheless, I hope that you like this new format and I hope it doesn't inconvenience anybody. But regardless, you can always, um, for the most up-to-date information, you can always um, subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which it will be, which, you know, if you're on Facebook watching this um, or Instagram, I'll have a link somewhere where you can watch it. So, um, but here we are, let us get into the data um, for this week on Wednesday, June 3rd. 30th. So we came into this week with 416 new actives with 84 homes coming back on the market. Um, so 80, if you're a home that came, if you had a home that came back on the market, maybe a deal had fell through or the contingency had came off or um, what have you, so many different things. The home may have like left the market temporarily and then now it came back to active. So much could happen. So um, that's what that is for. Four. Um, so 84 homes is back on the market um, with the price decrease at 359 homes had experienced price decreases um, coming into the week so um, you have another opportunity so it's like they repositioned themselves to better market themselves in the market um, they have made of priced a little too high or they just decrease it um, just to get a new batch of buyers back into the market um, and 65 homes had price increases so normally when this happens is because somebody when it goes under contract um, the price suddenly increases that's because the seller had accepted a higher offer and they just and um, they just uh, reflect the, the possible selling price at that number so that's what the price increases are um, with 184 homes went active under contract so these homes they had when um, they had um, bought their they they the seller had accepted an offer and um, now they are under contract with that buyer and the buyer has to go through certain contingencies such as like a home contingency or they need to sell their home um, some type whatever it is in their um, in their agreement is what the active under contract is and normally they just wait until like the mortgage contingency or the inspection period is up um, when they know that the buyer is good and ready and know that the that the um, that the deal is more than likely going to to go through the transactions going to go through so um, we are at 376 pendings um, for this week so they're on their way to settlement um, nevertheless just because it's in pending status doesn't mean that they are home free you're not home free until you close uh, so much can happen you can have a house that's under pending status and then that then something happens and then it comes back on the market um, and um, for closings, 489 homes had closed. So congratulations to those buyers and sellers who had successfully went through the, the home buying process. Uh, so um, going to the next segment at um, median list price. Uh, so this week we are at 329,000, whereas last week we were at 329,900, so right under 330,000 we are still the same here but you know with a difference in $900 not that much of a difference but hey that's what it is uh, with the average price per square foot at $256 uh, dollars, um, average days on market is 20 days um, and the current inventory is 3,660 so we have 6,660 homes uh, single-family homes ready for the taking in Philadelphia County. So my last segment is a market segment where I break down each um, price point um, with how much new properties came onto the market and what the market absorbed and what the difference is. 
Okay, so starting at 749,900 at an average square foot of 2,306 with three beds, three baths, average age of the, of the, average age of the home is 31 years old. With, um, we, saw the, we saw 65 new homes coming into the market with the market absorbing 70. So we have a negative five difference. Um, at 339,000, uh, a, a median square foot, 1,410. With three beds, two baths, average age of the home is 96. We saw 91 new homes come on the market with the market absorbing 71 of those homes. So now there's a difference of 20 homes that are available and I'm sorry but it's hot it is it's summertime so um, 270,000 um, is the next price which is um, average square foot 1068 square feet three bed one bath average age of the home is 101 101 years old new homes that came on the market is 96 with the market absorbing 91 of those homes so that leaves a difference of five um, and last and finally is the last price point at 149,900 average age of the home is 1,078 uh, three bed one bath average age of the home is 96 years old with the market re, um, seeing 101 new homes with the market absorbing 89 homes so we have a, a um, difference of 12 homes that are still available for sale so other than the 79 749 um, well 750 just might as well go right there just go for it um, 750 we have negative home we have a negative inventory whereas everything is still low inventory um, so remember if you're a buyer and you're still looking um, there's always new homes that come on the market um, so um, just keep up the good fight and you know who knows what may happen like in the next couple of months um, because things can always change especially with the fact that the government is changing um, the way how they're doing things now um, since the pandemic a lot of p the pandemic stuff that came through with the pandemic has is starting to lift and if not they've been lifted but they're even more so getting lifted now so you're seeing people with less mask on going into convenience stores going into daycare centers and um it seems like life is really really making the turn to go back to normal so um but that is it that's for this week so i hope that you are um that you stay well and that you keep cool this summer it's going to be a hot sun it's it's already a hot summer in philly so um we're almost through summer so have a great day and i will see you on the uh, um, i will see you next week have a good one